Hey everybody, welcome to Coach Max Game Corner. Today, we're opening up, I've opened up one of these before, I can't even fit it all on, uh, on the camera. It's a Jirachi GX collection box. These were a $20 Black Friday deal at Walmart for 2020. Uh, it comes with 10 packages, uh, the, the big one being Evolutions right here. But I like, I like the rest of them. There's, I don't think there's a, a lot of cards to really chase after in this one. It comes with three promos, two cards. I've already opened one up before. So, let's just dig on in to this dude. Let's see what we can get. It's been a minute since I've opened up hardly anything on the channel. The last one, I think, was the Champion's Path uh, Elite Trainer Box. No Charizard, but, you know, hopefully we can pull one Charizard today. Jeez, this box is so... it's just, it's just huge. Alright, so there's those coins. And uh, I've already shown off the coins before, but I'll show them off again. You got your... which one is that? That's Dialga. You got Dialga coin. Focus in on there. Maybe it'll focus today. I'm gonna put that back there. Okay, well it has the auger on it. it. It's not, it's cause all this stuff is right here. Here, see now, now that we should do this, it's got the auger. That's a nice looking coin. And the other one is Pikachu. Good old Pikachu, he's the, he's the good standby. So for all of the packs in this, geez, we've got a good few of them. Actually, before we get to the packs, let me get to the cards, I guess. Not the cards, the promos and whatnot. It's a Jirachi, Lucario, and a Decidueye card. And honestly, on the Decid on the Lucario, it looks like he's uh, Mega Evolved, but he's not. So that's the Lucario. It looks like on his arms, he's got that like red uh, film or whatever. So there's the Lucario promo card, really nice looking hollow. The Jirachi GX Full Art, stick, sticking his tongue out, teasing you a little bit, being cute. And then you got Decidueye, who's just really, really, really cool all around. Those are the three we've got there. All of those are the promo ones. So, this comes with X and Y Fates Collide. X and Y Evolution, I'm going to go ahead and put him over there. Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion 2 Crimson Invasion. In fact, I didn't realize that. Sun and Moon 2, base set, sun, 3, okay, 3 Crimson Invasion, and 3 base set Sun and Moon. See, it's so long since I opened the last one. Uh, a Steam Siege, and a Breakpoint. So we've got 3 X and Y sets, one at each, Breakpoint, Steam Siege, and Fates Collide. 4, technically, because Evolutions is an X and Y set. 3 base set Sun and Moon, and 3 Crimson Invasion, Sun and Moon. So we're going to save... Evolutions for last. Uh, we're gonna go through these. I want to say Fates Collide was first, then Breakpoint, and then Steam Siege. I may be completely wrong, and if I am, then I am completely wrong. And there you go. So we're opening up the Fates Collide to start off. One, two, three. Since this is X and Y, it's only three cards, and we're gonna be starting off with the Fairy Drop card. Wheezing. Power Memory. That's an interesting card. It does 200 attack. Wow. I didn't realize this was a... Oh, okay. So it's a tool that goes onto a Zygarde. Uh, and then... Huh. That is neat. Larvitar. Diglett. Minchino. Spoink. Coughing. Reverse Hollow. Brakeson. Or Brazen. I never... I've always said Brakeson. I'm, I'm basic when it comes to that. And the rare here is a Mega Audino EX. So, I actually, I have it sitting over here. Let me grab it real quick. Uh, it's real bent, but from this exact same set, I have the Mega, Aud or the Audino EX. And here's the Mega Audino EX. So, that's really cool. The one Gen 5 Pokemon to receive a Mega Form. That's pretty neat. I, you, like, you like completing the set of things. Let me uh, put that off to the side so we can show our big earnings at the very end of the video. Next, we're going to go into Breakpoint. I actually got my wife a trainer box of Breakpoint 
uh, back whenever the set was new. That would have been February, because I got it for for Valentine's Day. Maybe it didn't come out when Valentine or in February, but it was in February that I got it for her. Two, three. It was for Valentine's Day. And we'll start out here with a Max Potion. I almost said a Break Potion. Sigalith. Aromatisse. Timpole. Seedot. Shelter. Chikorita staring in the portal looking at uh, Finnegan. Froakie, my boy right there, just chilling. Look at him, chilling, relaxing, maxing all cool. Right after the Froakie, we get a Greninja break, and that golden Greninja just looks sick. A lot of the break cards look really good. Look, look really good. And our rare in this set is the creepy Hypno that is hypnotizing the Clefairy back there. That's, uh, that's one of my favorites, because the Clefairy card from that set has that mystical freaky looking uh, art going on with it. Now we're going on to X and Y Steam Siege. I was unaware that X and Y Steam Siege had a lot of shiny Pokemon in it because whenever I opened the last one, I was like, hey, these look shiny and, and they are. It's, uh, it's almost like they did that on purpose. They're not really worth anything. Uh, I think there was one full art mega card that was Steelix, Spirit Link, Shield on. Zwilus. Oh, just Ken Sugimori art. You know, the Ken Sugimori art's cool, but some of it's a little, little lame. That's not... Uh, I like the background, but that's not the best. Rufflet running through the desert because he can't use his wings. He's too tiny. Oshawott. Ponyard. Ponyta. Clink. I love the, the basic clink. It's just it's simple. Fungus is the reverse hollow here, and the rare in this set is jump bluff very very boring rare out of that set but we've had two two decent ones so far i mean we had the mega audino ex uh, we got the greninja break and we got the creepy hypno so now we're going on to the three sun and moon base sets i'll save uh you know what incineroar is actually my boy i'll go with solgaleo first sun and moon is one of the sets that i didn't really not the set but the game that i just didn't care that much for and, uh, yeah, Solgaleo and Lunala, not... I don't really dislike them. They're just just not my favorite. Okay, so do these, it goes four? Yes, and then there's the energy. Okay, just checking. It's hard to, hard to remember where they stopped and started stuff. So we're going to start with a grass energy. Ilima. Dragonair, the dragon energy type card. Double colorless energy, just a good old classic. Alolan Meowth, with a no energy attack cost. We have Dewpider, really cool looking art for Dewpider. Alolan Diglett, just standing there with his little little tuft of hair. Love that little dude. Marini, Crab Rawler, getting ready to fight. We got a reverse hollow of Togedemaru, the cute little porcupine hedgehog, big old ball Pikachu thing. And our rare in this set is a full art Tauros GX, that looks sick. I love it. I love it. That's nice. I am really, I'm really glad we, we were able to pull that. That was a nice pull. This box has been uh, not too bad. You know what that means when we get to X and Y evolutions? We're getting ourselves a Farfetch'd. And uh, I, I don't actually hate Farfetch'd, but I feel like I pull Farfetch'd from so many packs. It's just, uh, it's just how it is. One, two, three, four. Let's say we got a Psychic Energy in this one. We got a Water Energy instead. So close enough. That was the Primarina pack, so that just makes sense. Corsola, continuing the water trend. Energy Retrieval. You could retrieve a Water Energy. Steeny, no relation to water. Makuhita. Chinchow. Togedemaru, Ranaut, Reverse Hollow. Carvana. Ooh, it's a dark type, not water type. That's nice. That's interesting. Picky Peck. Reverse Hollow Zubat. That's really, really nice. And the rare here is Masquerain. I actually have this card. Uh, that one looks super familiar, so I'm pretty sure I have that one. I, I wouldn't mind collecting the Sun and Moon base set. I, I want to finish collecting the Sword and Shield base set above before anything else. It's just not my, uh, not my first... What's the word? Priority is what I'll call it. 
nice uh, bend on those cards. In the Incineroar pack, one of my mains for Smash. Haven't played Smash in a good bit. Sephiroth was released last month? Maybe maybe less than a month. We got a Grass Energy starting this one out. We got Tora Cat out of the Incineroar pack, so that's nice. Poison Barb. Dragonair. Spiro. Really nice looking art for Spiro. Like, it, it looks... Like it's just stock art, but it's it's not. I like that one. Psyduck, looking all confused, sitting by the water. Eevee, looking confused, standing in the grass, I guess because he's like, oh, what am I going to evolve into? Picky Peck. Alolan Meowth. Reverse Hollow Stoutland. And the rare in this is Solgaleo GX full art. That's uh, Solgaleo. I'm sorry that I... I'm sorry I, I downed you, man. Uh, please forgive me. That's two full art GXs out of this. So, uh, I don't know what all is worth anything out of Sun and Moon base set or uh, the Mega Audino. It wasn't full art, but I'm pretty pretty happy with what we got. The Greninja break wasn't wasn't great. We got Buzzwall, Guzzlord, and Silvali? Yeah, Silvali. Evolves from Type Null. Let's go with Buzzwall. I've been going to the gym recently. Let's get buff. That is a, that's not just a bit. I have been going to the gym. Make sure you take care of yourself, kids. Make sure you hydrate. It's, uh, it's really important. Oh, let's go. Okay. One, two, three, four. It'd be really cool to get a buzz wall out of this. Although I really like Guzzlord. It's, it's a cool one. We got a dark type energy to start this pack out. Gastrodon, and it's got the eastern and western one. Oh, and look at the stage one. It's got eastern and western. That's cool. Yeah, yeah I like when they, they do... Cool things like that. The Devoured Field. Oh, that's just sad. Fighting Memory to turn Silvally into a fighting type. I feel like this would be a really, really tough... Uh... Silvally probably wouldn't be the best deck to build around. Maybe there were decks built around it. I'm not sure. Remoraid. Shellos, dude, and it's got both of them on there. Just like the, just like the Gastronon. I like that. Little Bunnelby. I like the white outline around him. Magic Carp, hardcore Magic Carp. That's like the Team Rocket uh, submarine thing back there. Pikachu, oh, I like that Pikachu. Look at him. He's, he's just chilling. He's just Pikachu chilling. Chinchino, and the rare here is Primate, and it looks like it's made out of clay. That's really cool. Yeah, this artist uh, does a lot of that. I'm going to butcher the name Yuko, Mar Yuko Mori. Uh, I like that one. So nothing crazy out of that, that pack, but I really liked all the cards. And at the end of the day, isn't that what matters? Not really, because you want to get the good pulls. All right, we're going on to this next pack, the one that had Silvilly on the front. I feel like I say the name different every single time. Starting off with another dark energy. Lots of, lots of darkness here. Hakamo'o. The Dashing Pouch. Haunter. Pumpkaboo, Corfish, Starly, Skidoo, Weedle, Minchino Reverse Hollow to go with our Chinchino Reverse Hollow from the last pack. And the rare in this set is Cacturn. Looking shady. Look at him blending in with all the other other cactuses back there. Or cacti, I guess. I'm a math teacher, not a not an English teacher. So Crimson Invasion hasn't been stellar so far, but Crimson Invasion was what I pulled the full art Gyarados Secret Rare Ultra Mega Special Edition one from last box. If it wasn't from the Jirachi box, it was some, from something very, very similar. This was the last pack of Crimson Invasion with Buzzwall, not Buzzwall, Guzzlord on the top. They like their Zs here. We've got a Grass type to start this one. Pile of Swine. Peeking red card. Mill tank taking a snooze. Cute little Bunnelby back there. Another Shellos with Eastern and Western. I love it. Cubone. Feebas. Salandit. Reverse Hollow, Wigglytuff. And boy is Wigglytuff mad. Look at look at Weedle back there. He's like, Weedle, you guys, you don't you don't want to mess with her. She's she's mad. Or he. Not there did can be gen you know what I'm saying. And our rare here is Altaria dive bombing in for an attack. So that's every pack from that Jirachi GX box, except wait a minute. No, it's not. Of course, we've still got 
X and Y evolutions to end this one out. And I, I feel like I've not gotten a Farfetch'd in a while. So I want to make sure that I add a Farfetch to my collection. So I already see a Growlithe right there. Let's uh, try to keep some of the surprise for us. One, two, three. To the front. And we're starting with Switch. They predicted the Nintendo Switch so many years earlier. The Blastoise Spirit Link. Pidgeot Spirit Link. Back-to-back -back Spirit Links. Growlithe. Nidoran. Vulpix. I am just so nostalgic for base set. I love it. Sandshrew. Ponyta. Except, you know, most of it is Kintsugi Mori art. Not all of it, but like this one. Reverse Hollow Magneton. And that's, uh, yeah, that one is a rare. I like that one. I like the Reverse Hollows. And here's our Farfetch'd. Let's see what we got. No, it's not a Farfetch'd, but it is a Doug Trio. Not as exciting, but that's okay. Let's take a look at all of the ones we got. Oh, and this Wigglytuff Reverse Hollow was a rare. So let me show these off, probably in uh, order of order of awesomeness. We had two Reverse Hollow rares, Wigglytuff, so it's a fairy, and then uh, base set, reprint, evolutions, Magneton. Looks really, really cool. Love the shine on all those. We had a Greninja break out of Sun and Moon base set, I want to say. No, it was uh, one of the X and Y sets. I can't remember exactly which one. From the very, very first one, Mega Audino EX, and it's not full art, but that's really, really cool to go with my Aldino EX. But these two were definitely the, the coolest of them. The Solgaleo GX and the Tauros GX, both full art. I don't know if there was a difference in the uh, full art and just regular art in Sun and Moon. I'm not, I'm just, I'm not as knowledgeable about those sets. But overall, I would say this was a pretty, pretty good box. I'd say you could probably look around at some Walmarts and see if they still have a few of these. They may not have them for $20 anymore, they were originally priced 50 totally not worth it for that. But if you can find them for 20 or maybe even 30 I would go all in for it. Because Evolutions alone is worth at least 10 And so, until next time, make sure you like the video. Uh, make sure you do all the other things. I can't think of them right now. It's not like I do this at every, the end of every video. Until next time, see you later.